The new Toyota Tacoma was introduced to the public recently. The good old third generation Tacoma is slowly but surely going to be replaced by this new generation. But still, the old Toyota Tacoma has some advantages over the new model. So if you want to learn more about these advantages, stay with us while we cover the 2024 Toyota Tacoma versus the Tacoma's previous model. 8 things that'll change your mind. Comparison number 8. Available configurations. Now let's start a comparison with the configurations available. Configurability is key if you want to get the most out of your truck for your purpose. The current generation of the Toyota Tacoma is available with an access cab and a double cab. For those who don't know, an access cab is a four-door extended cab with suicide doors, and the crew cab is a full-size four-door cab. There are also two bed options, a 5-foot bed and a 6-foot bed. The access cab is only available with a 6-foot bed, while the double cab is available with both the 5-foot and 6-foot bed. The new 2024 Toyota Tacoma follows the same trend and offers the same options, except for the fact that the access cab on this model will be known as the extra cab. And this extra cab will be a 2-door cab, so you won't have those suicide doors that he had on the previous model. Also, there will be no jump seats on the new model. With the new Tacoma, you'll only have lockable storage space in the rear. So we can honestly say that the older model has an advantage because you have more accessibility with the suicide doors. The newer model does not have these features because of safety requirements. Comparison number 7. Suspension Another hugely important area worth a comparison between the old and new Toyota Tacoma is the suspension department. The old model uses a classic leaf spring suspension in the rear, which is a rather antique design but is still massively used for trucks because trucks need to handle a lot of payload. But technology has advanced rather quickly in recent years and Toyota deemed this kind of equipment unnecessary on a mid-sized truck like the Toyota Tacoma. So the new generation will keep the leaf springs for some of the models and for the more expensive versions of the truck, Toyota will implement a multi-link rear suspension, just like in the case of modern cars and SUVs. This will make the new Toyota Tacoma handle a lot better. There will be a huge difference between the two trucks when it comes to how they drive, so this is a clear win for the new Toyota Tacoma. Comparison number 6. Powertrain Options Powertrains are another very important aspect when buying a truck. They need to be powerful enough in order for you to get the most out of your truck. The old model of the Tacoma comes with two engine options. These include the 2.7 liter inline 4 and the 3.5 liter V6. The 2.7 liter engine makes 159 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque, which is quite a modest amount of power. The 3.5 liter V6 makes 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque, which is a decent amount of power, and that's why this engine is the engine that we recommend. There are also a few transmission options, a 5-speed manual that was available on models made between 2016 and 2017, and a 6-speed manual that was available on newer models. In addition to this transmission, there's also a 6-speed automatic. The new model, on the other hand, comes with a modern 2.4-liter inline-4 turbo engine dubbed as the iForce for the standard model and the iForce Max for the hybrid version. The standard versions of the iForce are rated between 228 and 278 horsepower, and when it comes to torque, they'll be rated between 243 and 317 pound-feet. The iForce Max, which is the hybrid model, will be the most powerful version, rated at 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. Overall, the new Toyota Tacoma will be a huge improvement in terms of power, not to mention that this power will be available low at the RPM band because the new engine is turbocharged. Comparison number 5. Towing and Payload Capacity Towing and payload are two very important factors that prove how practical a pickup truck is. So how is the older model of the Tacoma proving itself? Well, the 2023 model of the Toyota Tacoma is rather good in terms of towing. The maximum towing capacity of the Tacoma is rated at 6,800 pounds. Four-wheel drive models are rated at 6,500 pounds. While in terms of payload, the Tacoma can carry up to 1,685 pounds, which is a decent number. The new model, on the other hand, has a maximum towing capacity of 6,500 pounds and can take a payload of 1,709 pounds. Considering these numbers, the performance of both these trucks is pretty similar. In fact, the rear-wheel drive version of the previous generation can tow 300 pounds more compared to the new generation, while the newer model can take 25 pounds of payload more compared to the previous version. Overall, the older model is probably a more capable one in terms of towing, that's why we would recommend it. Comparison number 4. Fuel Economy 
gas mileage is another very important area when it comes to buying a new truck, especially nowadays when gas prices are going through the roof. People are looking for more efficient vehicles that'll deliver more for their hard-earned dollars. So the old version of the Tacoma is performing rather poorly by modern standards. The 2.7-liter engine is only able to get 21 mpg combined, while the 3.5-liter is able to get about 21 mpg combined as well. You might be asking why the bigger engine is equally efficient. Well, it's because the 2.7-liter is is very underpowered, and this makes it consume more gas while carrying the heavy chassis. On the other hand, for the new model, there are no official numbers yet, so we can only guess about its MPGs. But according to some industry experts, the new iForce Max hybrid engine will be able to get 24 MPG in the city, 30 MPG on the highway, and 27 MPG combined. This is a 6 MPG difference compared to the older version of the Tacoma, and the new model will be a clear winner in this category. Comparison number 3. Trim Levels Trim levels are also hugely important when buying a new truck. People nowadays want to get the right model for them, and that's why car makers have a huge lineup of trims for everyone's taste. The old model that is slowly going away comes at a variety of trim levels. These include the SR, SR5, Limited, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, TRD Pro, and Trail Special Edition. The new model will take some of these trims and add some new trim levels to the lineup. The new lineup will be the following. The base will be the SR, then you'll have the SR5, TRD Pre-Runner, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, TRD Pro, Limited, and Trail Hunter. The new lineup is much more diverse, especially since the Trail Hunter trim is a very special Overland model that comes with countless options that you can get. So the clear winner here is the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Comparison number 2. Exterior Design, Interior Design, and Features Exterior styling is another very important category. We just love a good design, and this is the first factor that comes into play and makes us buy a certain vehicle. The old model that is retiring this year is a design that was developed in the early 2000s. The generation from 2015 can only be described as a refresh rather than a brand new model. This exterior design is getting very dated by modern standards, and the interior is even worse. The seats are uncomfortable, and the technology is very bad and dated. The new model, on the other hand, solves a ton of problems. This model implements very sharp lines with a huge grille at the front that accentuates its presence on the road. There are also neatly designed LED headlights and taillights. The interior is also one of the best, if not the best in the whole segment, especially the seats which even implement shock absorbers for maximum comfort on the well-equipped models. There's also the option for a huge 14-inch infotainment screen. In addition to this, you also have a very large screen for the driver's cluster. Overall, the new model is miles ahead of the old version of the Tacoma in design and technology. Comparison number 1. Pricing Pricing is also a very important factor that comes into play. The old model starts at $28,600, and considering costs nowadays, it's not that high. For the new model, there's not anything official yet, but according to some industry experts, the model will start at $30,000. It's a bit more expensive, but considering that this is a big upgrade, we think that it's worth it. Verdict and the clear winner based on the aspects that we covered is the all-new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. We think that it's worth the wait, and you should definitely get the new model because it is better in almost every category. The only downsides are the lack of suicide doors and jump seats on the extra cab and a slightly lower towing capacity. But besides these things, the new model is a much better deal. Not to mention, you get a new design that'll be trendy in the years to come, and the technology that this model has is something that'll blow you away. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.